Department. Stephen Timms. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I very much agree with the proposals just made by the Right Honourable Member for Chingford and Woodford Green. I think it's particularly important that the advances paid to people claiming universal credit become non-repayable for those affected by the crisis. He's mentioned the suspension of the minimum income floor for self-employed people. That was a welcome announcement that the Chancellor made in the budget, but it appears only to relate to people directly affected by COVID-19, whereas many of those suffering at the moment are not themselves ill, but they are affected by the wider changes in the economy. So, will he confirm that that lifting of the minimum income floor will apply also to those not directly affected? Will the, the, the employment support package, and I am glad the Government is working on this, will we know the details of that before this weekend? Yes. I thank uh, the Right Honourable Gentleman for his questions. And um, he makes some specific points about uh, the, essentially the consequential effects of different groups of employees who are affected. Um, I can't comment on the details of that. And with respect to the timing of the employment support uh, announcement, we are working on it as quickly as we can. There's no timetable uh, in terms of a date being uh, specified because we've got to get it right and we're doing it as urgently as we possibly can. 